What's up YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title, I don't even know what I'm doing if we're being quite honest. I am going to be doing the big chop today. Nothing that I thought I would ever do in my life because I have never cut my hair off like ever and I've never had to relax or anything like that but during middle school and high school I straightened it a lot and overall I just really never developed an appreciation for my hair it's always like kind of just been hair to me and I've always felt that way because I wasn't really raised to love my hair when I was younger I was always taken to hair shops to get it braided and when my mom did it she would always complain about it being too thick or too much so I just like never really began to correlate it with anything positive two weeks ago I had a dream like I've been having like some vivid ass dreams recently and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a get ready with me while we're doing this video because I'm running a little bit late but I had a dream like two weeks ago where I literally had no hair on my head I felt like really good like I felt really free but when I woke up from that dream I was just like was that a sign like was that a message that I need to cut my hair I feel like when I'm set on something it's going to get done so I literally made the appointment the day after I had the dream. I was really trying to give myself like at least a solid day to consider it. So I'm getting it done today at 10 o'clock. It is currently 9.36 and I'm meeting my friend Kara there. I'm just gonna have some smoothies before and she's gonna film the whole process. It's a lot going on. I just got a dog yesterday so this whole this week is just she's a lot. But yeah I'm just like a little bit nervous because like it's, it's too late now. <laughs> The car's been swiped. I don't know if I should like keep my hair short or like grow it out from the cut that I'm about to get. That tired ass bun, y'all, I think that's kind of what drove me to wanting to cut my hair off because I really don't be having the patience to style my hair in any other style. I don't really put on makeup anymore. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that. Like I don't do full faces like I used to because I just be too lazy i might honestly get back into makeup now that i'm about to cut my hair because i feel like a lot of times when my hair is not good there's just no point in putting on makeup but i pretty much just fill in my eyebrows now i put on some mascara and then i just like do a little bit of concealer all around my face i'm really not good at showing my emotions outwardly but best believe I am shaking in my boots right now because I'm just such an impulsive person and I just be on some shit. Like I literally just got a dog yesterday and I moved across the country a month ago. I dropped out of school almost a year ago. You see what I'm saying? So if you have any like recommendations for like hair products, definitely let me know in the comments. I don't know what my hair texture is if we're being quite honest. But we're gonna see when my hair gets cut. So yeah, it's 9.42, I'm running late. I'm gonna head to the beauty salon right now and then I will just see you there, I guess. Kira well, here, reporting really for crying. duty. You were crying. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, the dramatics. Low key, I got food. I don't know how this is gonna work. Hi. I'm excited. Hi. This place is cute. Look at that. Okay, inches. I think your texture will be pretty. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna take off the initial cut. Okay. And then I'm gonna shampoo you and then I need to It's cute though. I can already see the vision. It's no, your head. It. I like your head. <laughs> oh, goodness. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she was thick. A little longer than a few minutes later. Wash your hair three times. <laughs>
A few inches later. How are you feeling? I just feel like I have 10 pounds off me, honestly. Your curls look so cute. They're all big and juicy. Okay, juicy. She's looking luscious. Okay, part. <laughs> So that's how black women travel with each other. Looks like the okay. <laughs> I like it. The goal is how I'm gonna keep it like this. Yeah, she's dying. 82 kilometers later. Okay, so I just got home. It's been about an hour, but I have to take my dog out for a walk. This is the final product, as you can see. I'm like, it's like slowly growing on me. The hard part, I feel like, is just keeping it like this for a couple days. Because it's definitely not going to last like this for long. So, I'm actually about to head to the store to get some products for my hair. I really wish I could like show you from a better angle. That's been this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe it inspired you to do your own big chop. Maybe you've already done your own big chop. And yeah, I'm just like... It's growing on me. I was never really attached to my hair anyway, so like I don't really feel different. It's just like my hair is cut off. Probably gonna get into wigs pretty soon. Probably gonna get into some more protective styles. But this is just so that my hair has a fresh start and I can actually want to go through it and not be so overwhelmed by having so much hair on my head. So I'm definitely not gonna be like wearing it natural short all the time. I'm just getting this so that I can just have a very fresh foundation. But that's in this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.